Kicking off our list at number 15, young snooker sensation Unnu fumbles an easy final black. Watch into the right corner. He's played for the pink in the right corner. Keep running. Into lucky number 13, Mark Allen's premature celebration turns sour. His final black sinks. But so does the cue ball. Well, what? Kao Yu Peng, seven frame the match. to lose. Landing at number 12, Kieran Wilson's focus shatters not once, but thrice, thanks to a spectator's incessant phone interruptions. Switch that phone off, please. Not a phone, surely. Hmm. Possible. Rob. Rob, yeah, there's a it telephone, so... Yeah. It's a very important shot, this, that Kyron's facing, because he didn't get as close to the green as he should have done. Yeah, that's ridiculous. It really is. The croak is worn before the match starts. I think Can you should, point that person out? He should wander back to his seat and just... Uh, yeah, right. I think that's what he's Come doing. Come please, and that's it. He can go. Himself. Yeah. Don't blame him for doing that. Diving into number 11, Liang Wenbo delivers a baffling spectacle, sending the cue ball airborne in a wildly uncontrolled shot that crashes into the red. Liang Wenbo, 16. I think we'll need to see the replay to see what happened there. Just the ball seemed to be flying everywhere. I think he actually missed cue, didn't he? Yep. Wow. Thank you. You could see his face right there. How fortunate he's been there. At number 10, Ajib nearly tastes victory against the formidable Judd Trump, but leaves everyone gasping as he misses a simple blue. In the number nine spot, Mark Williams shakes up the post-match conference, appearing shirtless and half-naked. <laughs> How does it feel? Um, to be honest, a little bit uncomfortable at the minute. <laughs> but um, I, I wouldn't have wore the towel. I wore this off bar you and I had to put the towel around, otherwise I would have just walked in to cry in. But I'm over the moon. It's, it's what a match to be involved in. I, I mean, I missed an easy pink to win it. At number eight, Stuart Bingham practically wraps a frame in a bow for Wilson, botching a double on the black and setting up a gift of a shot for his opponent. The, the value of this black ball game. Same shot for Stuart. And if that doesn't go in, it's over the pocket. It's pulling to the left slightly. It's over the pocket. Mm. He'll be disappointed, Stuart. Remember at one time, Kyron needed a snooker. He didn't get it, Stuart. Do you want to win a cue signed by this snooker legend? To enter, subscribe to our channel, like the video, and drop a comment with which part of this video was your favorite moment. Slipping into number seven, Mark Allen serves up an easy pink for Mark Selby, then curiously stands beside him to witness his own defeat. Mark Selby needed a snooker. He'll turn around now and look at Mark Selby. Well, he'd like to, but it's not etiquette to <laughs> he's not going anywhere, Mark. He's just going to stand there. <laughs> well, that's been a good turn up there, but. Uh, oh, well. There you go. Securing the number six slot, Robert Milkins and Neil Robertson face a comedic mix up, instructed by the referee to switch seats after unwittingly claiming each other's spots. Guys. Sorry, are we? Well, the referee, <laughs> he's telling him, uh, excuse me, guys, you're in the wrong seat. I don't know whether that would uh, affect the scoreboard any, you know. Imagine making a hundred break and they give it to the other man. <laughs> Is this your bottle? Yeah, that's my glass. Uh, that's, that's your glass. Yeah. At number five, during a match between Ronnie O'Sullivan and Mark Williams, Ronnie makes a face, clearly bothered by the bad smell of someone's fart. <laughs> At 
number four, Barry Hawkins messes up big time, launching the cue ball into the air and totally missing the red ball he aimed to sink. Clinical and very precise. But maybe that wasn't. Well, well he, he'd Barry be Hawkins a bit anxious. He'd look at the tip set. there. When you miss cue like that, you get a bit worried about taking a little piece out of your tip. Wow. Don't see it very often. At number three, Mark Selby makes a red-faced blunder, going for the pink ball under the mistaken belief it's a free shot. Oh. Oh. Hey. Well, of course, he thought it was a free ball. Mark Selby has thought that was a free ball. That's why he's taken the pink, is the free ball. He just realised that a free ball wasn't called. I was wondering that. Landing at number two, Kieran Wilson botches his shot with a glaring miscue, then scrutinises the tip of his cue as if expecting it to confess its betrayal. But he's got to catch that first red thin. Oh, he's miscued. He's miscued. Well, he's got away with it. Has he got away with it? Closing in at number one, Rory McLeod leaves spectators scratching their heads, executing a bewildering shot that spreads the Reds like a feast for Stephen Maguire. Well, I didn't see that 13-ball plant. For more snooker videos, click on the screen.